way, but if you want to work with your existing team, right. each team will build a business model. You'll have 10 minutes to do it in. It should take no more than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Developing countries, so it'll buy a little bit more. And also, uh, you can expect donations. Proposition is uh, you buy a vitamin from Vitalize and then you provide um, the families in need um, with their vitamins as well. So Okay, so all the presentations were actually, I was very impressed, much better than I thought. Um, in fact, every presentation had pieces that I thought were incredible. I thought the best presentation was from the first group. Uh, great job, guys. Like, uh, presentation is very important when you're talking about a business. It gets people that are listening excited. Um, you know, you hit your main points. Now, you guys all made great points. Uh, recurring revenue, it's a very important point in this business model because you sell to them once and they're going to keep buying. And, you know, I think group two, you guys mentioned the high startup costs that are uh, part of something like this. It's very important to list, like, you know, the cost that you're going to have to go through uh, to start up. You can't just bootstrap a business like this all the time. You need some funds to start up. The recurring revenue um, as a revenue model. And then, you know, what, what else was great about this? You know, customer acquisition costs that are mentioned here, very important with something like this where you're going to get people buying over and over again. How much is it going to cost you to get that customer? And then how far along are you going to break even on that customer and make a profit? Because if it's too far in the future uh, when you're going to break a profit, it might not even be worth the start. But if you can get that recurring revenue with the upfront cost you know, kept down, then it's a great model. And the one for one is obviously a brilliant idea. So, so yeah, the soccer moms and the upper middle class, important part of the marketing effort. But maybe in the first instance, marketing and advertising has to be centered on the physicians who can talk to their mom to the moms and dads and the kids and get buy-in through a physician and see what you can see what you can see what you can about better. Right. Sometimes you you know sometimes your, your end customer isn't who you need to market to. You need to market to the person who's going to make the recommendation to that end customer. So if the end customer is a child or, or you know, a young adult, their parents are going to be the buying decisions, but they're going to listen to the pediatrician, just like you said. So it, you, you know, as a business, you market the pediatricians. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. So it's oh, it's very cool. So, and then when you watch the video, it's like you're watching it like from your eyes. Like